people. I am Suburban Angling, as you may or may not know, and I'm out here doing something very, very, very different for you guys. So, as the title and thumbnail would suggest, we are out here doing a kayak fishing tournament, the first one of the year, my first solo derby ever. It's day one, practice. Today is Saturday, the tournament is tomorrow on Sunday. I am at Rock Lake, Wisconsin, kind of near Madison, about two hours off the Illinois border. And yeah, we pulled up today. It's a little wind, not crazy windy, but it's a big lake, there's some chop. I don't have a spot lock on my kayak, so I'm gonna try to get out the wind the best I can and figure out what, what they're biting on. Tomorrow was supposed to be five degrees warmer and five degrees or five mile an hour less wind. So if it all works out the way it should, we'll find out some lures that they're willing to bite today. Tomorrow, I will see you guys on the water because I'm actually not going to record practice. It's just, I don't think the audio would be good at all for you guys. So this is going to be the intro for the actual tournament. So I'm going to go out there right now. I'm going to practice, figure out what they're biting on. And then I will see you guys tomorrow morning at launch. Tournament ready. So let's fast forward to that moment. See you there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the morning. We got the bad boy yak. We got a Tim Buck 2 in the middle of nowhere hotel. And we got the competition right next to us. And we're about to put a hurting on them. It's literally four in the morning. Woke up at two, took a shower, got all my stuff rigged. Well, stuff was already rigged, but you know what I mean. Got it all ready, ready to go. Confidence thing because I definitely drag in the morning, guys. So if I wasn't up at two, I probably wouldn't even be out here right now. So I'm hyped. I didn't record at practice, which you guys already know. That was in the intro, but it was just way too windy for me to do anything productive with the camera. It just It wouldn't have been a good quality production. You know what I mean? So today is going to be a lot less wind, a lot warmer, a lot calmer of a day. And I'm very excited. So I'm going to hop in the truck and I'll see you guys at check-in. All right, folks, we are at check-in. The guys are right there getting everything ready to go. Not everyone's here. People already checked in. There's a lot more boaters than this. It's going to be a pretty competitive field today. I don't know what the camera just saw. I have it in forward facing mode. So hopefully you saw what I was just trying to show you guys. But let's go talk to the guys. First derby, gentlemen. We're getting a wristband identifier. And then we're going to go to the launch and get everything ready. Only thing is it's like 4.30 right now. We can't even actually start fishing until 5.30. So we're just going to go get set up and then see what happens. All right, gentlemen. Got our wristbands. Good. Got our um, identifiers, Kayak Bass League, KBL. Got the boy Matthew. You recognize him. He's been in a few productions. Boom. That's the truck. That's his shit. Let's go. Let's go. Rip a lip off and send a bass to the dentist. Going to our starting spot, a good, a, a healthy, I would say 10 people came back here right away. Not even, like 15 people came back here right away. It's about 25 more on the main lake. I've been, you know, hearing a lot of different anglers' opinions about this lake, and everybody seems to have their own consensus of where they're gonna catch them and how they're gonna catch which that's always, it's any tournament, right? But just, at the same time, it's not too big of a lake. It's really not something you should overthink of where, what, what you can, you know. Again, I'm not a professional, but judging by my practice, which I wish I would have been able to film for you guys, but just judging by practice, you, you're going to be able to catch them anywhere. I, you know, people are going to say fish your strengths, which is true. The point that I'm trying to get at is uh, I think we're going to be able to sack them everywhere. You saw him catch that little pike and get, he just got a pike in fucking 20 seconds. Almost broke, almost broke his shit off. Come on. 
What's a big one? All right, we got a good one, folks. Okay. That's actually a really good fish for here. He's he got the length. He's not huge, but he has some length. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Just a confidence booster. Okay. All right. Got some good pictures. First keeper out. First key, oh my God, first keeper. That's actually a really good one for here, 15 and a quarter. We'll take that all day. Okay, it's a confidence booster. That's a confidence booster. I'm not gonna submit it yet. I'm gonna wait. Here's what I'm gonna do also. Go in the pictures, you just take a picture of your kneecap, separates the pictures of all the fish you caught. They don't get jumbled up. Oh, oh my God, there's a wake, a wake. Something just followed my bait from the distance. I can see the lily pads. He waked on it. Oh, got him. What did I tell you guys? I said, I saw something wake on it. Okay, two keepers, little squirt. We gotta call him out later for a 18 inch. Let's go. So right there, guys, I saw the, I cast it. I saw the fish come out of a lily pad behind it and come this, come towards my bait. Cast it right back over there and boom. Got a fish. You might keep. That's a keeper. Okay, we'll take him. He just barely tapped it, but I think that'll go 12. And we'll just, oh yeah, he was barely hooked too. Look at that, folks. Look at that, just came right out. 13 incher, whatever, third fish to our limit. Take him for now. <clears throat> no, 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 Nick. Oh my God, Nick. You need to chill out, bud. Very next cast. They're back here. It's a better one. Not better, but he's not 13 inches, he's 14 inches. <laughs> okay, looks like we're getting the phone right back out. All right, we got 14 and a quarter out of him. We stretched that quarter inch, we really needed that. That quarter inch, dude, I'm telling you, this tournament, every little anything is gonna matter so much. Yeah, sorry about that net job, guys. I reeled him in a little too close. I, I was just trying to scoop him, and then, yeah, just rookie shit, rookie shit. But we got him. He was hooked good. We jacked him. Oh, there's a fish in those pads. I just scared him out of them. I don't even know if that's going to keep. That's going to keep, but it's like... <laughs> I found some fish, but they're not what I need. It's like you're gonna measure them because he's gonna keep. But you don't, you're hoping that you don't have to use them at the end of the day, you know? You just take a picture of them now. You got your limit, you know what I mean? Yeah, 12 and three quarters. 
toss him back without spiking myself. That's the main reason I kept holding him down. I didn't want him to spike me. Stand up for a second here. Oh, it drops off back there, huh? Got, Got him on the frog. Where's the net? Get him in. That's a okay, that's. My drag was loose, but I still jacked him. Okay. We needed that one real good, boys. We needed that one. That'll go 16, maybe. Okay. 7%, 15 inches. We got it to touch. Thank you, bud. I mean, we got a limit. 71 and a half inches for this lake You know, it's it's decent whatever, but it's not gonna win. It's not gonna get a check 83 inches is what won last year and don't get me wrong 80 could win today 79 could win today But I'm not gonna feel confident until I have 80 We're gonna work this frog bite and spinnerbait bite for a little bit longer I think the Sun came out but the, the Sun's out good I think the frog bite just turned on cuz I made 10 casts with it earlier didn't get shit not 10 casts, no 25 casts made five casts with it now boom boom so we're gonna throw that frog a little bit. We're gonna throw that spinnerbait a little bit more. Stay in here for about another hour or two. Like two 17 inchers would be so money. Would be so money. Let's get it. Oh my God. Of course. Oh my God, of course. Came right back for it twice. Little ass. That's a cool inch, that's an inch cool right there. I'll take them. There he is. There's a bass. How is he gonna call? Wanted to jump right there. He's not gonna help us at all. Yeah, he does not help. You know how much water I'm covering with that cast? Like. Is that a fish? Oh my god. You gotta be joking. This is like, I don't even get it. The moment I switched the cadence though, he did just come and crack it. But dude, that's like the tiniest bass. 
squeezing him so hard, I might kill him. I don't give a fuck. I do care though, I'm not, I'm just joking, but obviously I don't want to get hooked, so. I'm not even gonna show you guys that fish. I'll, sh I'll save you. I'll save you that. All right, that was a, I started, I sped it up and he hit it. He's little, but. Standing up, no kill switch, no life jacket. Beautiful thing. Oh, okay, I found some fish. That could cool. I don't know if that's gonna cool. I don't know if that's gonna be cool. <sighs> Little fucker almost ruined the day. He almost ruined the whole day. Get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. He almost ruined my whole day, but he didn't and we're fishing. That's a better one. Okay, this one has weight. I don't know. This actually might coal, guys. Oh, sh I don't know. I just don't even know. He's a keeper. I just don't think he's going to help us. He might not even be a keeper type. From the distance, they always seem so much bigger, dude. I mean, see, I gotta, see, that's the problem. These are dinks. These are dinks. We don't need those. You know what that's telling me? Put the jerk bait down. Pick this sleeper up. Throw the dark sleeper over this rock flat and On the dark sleeper. Okay, that one might help. I don't know. So I flipped it right into my lap. That's skills right there. And he's not gonna help us for shit. But look how we ate that dark sleeper. Super slow. I had to make sure I let it sink and slow roll it. Super slow. Okay, we can replicate that. I mean, that's a bigger one. Let's try to find like, like I know he doesn't help. You know, we need one that helps. That was my first cast over there with that sleeper. My drag was good. Yeah, it, drag was fine. this oh my god it's a pike dude what did i just say i didn't want to have my whole body's cramping up on me dude <sighs> my whole body's just cramped uh, uh, if i can get this guy off without even touching him 
That would be amazing. See, look at him. Look at him. Fucking look at him. <sighs> Little piece of shit. Okay. Yeah, one of the hook. I can see bass everywhere back here. I know they're back here. I just lost one, and every time I get into a good zone, I'm getting blown off of it. And it's even when I sit. Just squeak this one out on the frog. Can't. I don't think he's gonna. Like, why do the little ones get the frog so good? Like, what? He does help. That's why you don't release fish. Hurry up. Yep, yep, he only helped by a quarter inch, so that's fine. Quarter inch is a quarter inch. Literally, as I was getting my phone, I'm like, this is why you gotta, like, this is risk, like, whatever. Quarter inch, let's just put it like this. If I'm out of the money by a quarter inch, you already know. <laughs> oh my God. The little guy's hooked like a goddamn champion. Uh, is he even gonna help us? Doesn't do sh. That was insane. I just sight fished that he just came out of nowhere for that Sanko. There he goes. There we go. Is he gonna f help? I found some. He wants to jump so bad, it's not even funny. And he does help a lot. Okay, he helps. Yeah, whatever. I already got pictures, you f I already got my pictures. Oh sh! That's a coal. Hey guys. Oh, keep his dumb ass down. Oh sh! Oh. 
That might help. He might help. All right. Grab him quick. Mm, mm. That might help. That fish helped. All right, guys. It is officially lines out. We got a limit, we made some coals, you know, whatever. Hopefully it means something, man. Honestly, there was some, I heard some guy got a 20 inch bass, which he's a cool guy, so I'm happy for him. And he had bad luck at his last tournament. So if it's true that he caught a 20 inch bass, he probably won big bass and I'm happy for him because he needs a little check. But um, I'm, I don't think I'm in contention. I'm not close to 80 and I, I just know somebody, somebody has a limit of 16 inches and they got 80, you know what I mean? So. I would assume just by other people's demeanor who I talk to, I'm probably top 15. I'm assuming. I don't know. I haven't looked at the leaderboard once. I'm just hoping I'm in the at least the top half of the people so I at least know that I was on fish. You know what I mean? But we're pulling up to the ramp right now. We're about to load up the kayak and then I'll see you guys at the weigh-in. So let's get it. see how we did there's Matt pulling in that boy Matthew I was wondering between 13 and 14 or something. <laughs> <laughs> look at him my boy Tim with the big bass 20 and three quarters mm. Congrats to this boy, Robert. We don't know him, but congratulations to him. That just paid for his hotel and his gas money. Fun. Next one. <laughs> he said, I'll keep it honest. In second place. With 83 and a quarter. Oh, shit. Okay, somebody sacked him. Mr. Todd Martin. Hey, where's he at? Look at him. What a hammer. What a hammer. Todd takes home $753 for his second place. Oh yeah, that's, some, that's a child support payment right there. How many kids you got? 27. All of them. You running out of room at the house over there? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. And in first place. Who got the W? 83 and three quarters. Oh, Patty. Mr. Joe Palmer. Where he at? Look at him. Just another hammer. $1, he got an absolute yeah, check. Up. A sack. Hell yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a group picture, folks, so I'm going to participate. Alright, folks. I am in my truck on the way home after my first ever kayak derby by myself, solo fishing. It was fun. I'll say it was, um, I don't want to say a humbling experience because I, I came into it confident and I'm sure during the video you heard me, you know, I was confident, but at the same time, like I, I knew there was going to be some hammers. You know, I know a lot of the guys that are in KBL, not personally, but I know of them and I know there are some, there are some quality fishermen there. And, um, like I said, I'll use, I'll use the word humbling. It was a good humbling experience to that, to go out there and catch 30 plus fish, I didn't put it all on camera, but to catch so many bass and just still come short. You know what I mean? Like like I said, it was a really awesome tournament and I'm actually not done with the video. We're going to do a little tournament recap when I get back home. So stay tuned guys, because we are going to talk about how we caught them and where we caught them and the, just like the my thought process throughout the day. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys back at home. All right guys, as promised, I'm going to do a quick tournament recap. 
I'm out here in my garage and honestly I don't really have the best lighting but it's the best place for me to record this so I'm just going to do it really quick and I think it's kind of beneficial for you guys especially because if you made it this far in the video you're pretty invested in it you know it's 30 minutes long and I want to make sure you guys are getting you know your uh, your time's worth and your learning something from this so anyway the bait that I caught my limit on to start off the morning with and honestly the bait that I had the most confidence going into the morning in was this spinner bait right here so it actually was not this exact brand but it was the same color same style just a double willow white spinner bait 3 8 ounce this is a biz bait spinner bait I was using a strike king but they both would have got the job done honestly I was just throwing it out there you know quick you know 20 30 foot cast burning it like you guys you guys saw only a couple inches under the surface like almost using it as like a wake bait really and you know pulling those fish that were hiding under those pads out and it was getting the job done early in the morning once that sun came up a little bit and you know i just felt a little bit more confident that the fish were i don't know more fired up and it just kind of seemed like they were more active i switched up to a frog so this is again not the same exact frog i was using i was using a little strike king frog but it was the same style frog i you know cut the ends off the legs so they wouldn't be too long in the back and honestly i think this frog would have got the job done too i think any frog would have got the job done it really not that i'm not trying to say that color preference isn't a thing but the color on the bottom matters a lot more than what's on the top and both those frogs had similar colors on the bottom so anyway i switched to top water which got me a lot of big bites and i didn't put all of it on camera but the frog i think had got me a few bites that if I would have caught those fish instead of getting the you know this place that I did I might have got even higher and even you know got into the money but the frog definitely um I'll say it got the second most bites for me and also the biggest bites now moving to out deep you guys saw I caught a lot of fish on this jerk bait the mega bass 110 plus one with that long bill on there and um it did give me one, you know, like little half inch coal at the boat ramp right before we were done fishing. But honestly, I was surprised that this just didn't catch, I don't want to say more fish, but bigger fish. Because during my pre-fish the day before, which I didn't put in the video, but it's already 30 minutes long. It doesn't need to be any longer. But anyway, the day before, I caught an 18 inch smallmouth and caught, you know, some more 14, 15 inch small largemouth offshore. And I don't know. I just thought that this would have done something or done more than it did, but whatever. The jerk bait, it was fun to throw, fun to catch fish on, but just couldn't find the bigger bites with that. Towards the end of the day, I went back into the marsh and threw around a little Texas rigged Sanko. Kind of jerked it around like a fluke. You saw I caught two fish on it and I actually made a coal, like a little quarter inch or half inch coal with that as well. And honestly, right when I that bite started to get good and I found out about the Senko, you know, like a fluke, the fluke bite, so, so to speak, the wind picked up and it started blowing me around and I really didn't get to capitalize on it. But I think that if I would have been able to finesse with that a little bit longer, I might have been able to get one of those from bigger fish that I lost on the frog. But some other fish, um, some other fish, some other baits that I caught fish on. You know, that there were like little one-offs where uh, I caught a fish on an underspin, I caught a fish on a dark sleeper. I think that's about it. And the, um, during my pre-fish, I caught a lot of fish on the paddle tail and on the underspin. But again, they were little, so I really didn't throw it too much on tournament day itself. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't because when I did throw it, I caught little fish and then I got broke off by a pike. And I don't know, it just didn't seem worth throwing compared to throwing a frog in those bigger bites or the spinner bait. So... Those are the baits that I threw, guys. The areas that I threw them in, like you saw, the frog and the spinnerbait, shallow lily pads, just burning it under those, burning the spinnerbait under those pads, throwing the frog in the same pace, same place I was throwing the spinnerbait, and just trying to capitalize on some of those bigger fish that just for some reason didn't want to hit the spinnerbait. You know, when I was throwing that jerk bait, I was fishing like six to eleven foot of water, depending on the situation. But those are, you know, the small things I can say to you guys. If you have any more questions about what I was doing, leave them in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for this tournament recap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the fishing. I know I enjoyed filming it, as always. There's not much else I can say about this one, so I'll see you guys in the next one.